Well, I'd like to welcome all of our viewers uh, tonight for our first ever live online Senior Rec Night Awards reveal show. Uh, I'm uh, Mr. Klein, and uh, I'm joined at a distance by Mr. Aaron Stecker, our incredible Associate Principal for Act and Activities Director. Good evening, Mr. Stecker. Good evening, Mr. Klein. Pleasure to be here this evening and uh, join you for this historic event. Very historic. And I, I want to remind you, Mr. Stecker, this is live. There is no cutting room floor and there is no bleep button, so you need to keep yourself on script, all right? I will do my best, all right. Mr. Klein. Very good, I'll very good. I'll do my best. Well, uh, students, families, and faculty, and staff, we're very honored that you're able to be present online for these awards uh, to celebrate these talented and caring students of the class of 2020. We have many wonderful traditions here at Kennedy, uh, and the Senior Recognition Night is one of the very best, and I have to say I'm very sad that we're not able to have our traditional ceremony this year, but with all things, we're adapting as a school, and we're doing all these things together as best we can. Your class, along with all of your schoolmates, have already and will continue to endure a crisis not seen for over 100 years in our country, and I'm very proud of all of you for the determination and strength that you've shown during these times. I especially want to thank the senior class leaders who have been promoting their classmates on Instagram. They're using an account called jfk.2020.seniors, and they're producing cards for every senior who submits information uh, honoring each member of the senior class. So uh, just a, a great job there. Very, very proud of you guys. And uh, students, keep submitting those cards to uh, them. They'll keep posting them. It's great stuff. As well, uh, seniors, we are set to start filming for our virtual graduation. Every senior will be able to walk across the Kennedy stage and be filmed doing so in their cap and gown. And you'll be receiving an email tonight to your email account with information about how to sign up for your time slot to record that senior graduation video. And that will be broadcast as part of a full program on May 23rd at 7 o'clock, the regular time of our graduation ceremony. And I uh, want to remind you that we very much hope that we can have an in-person graduation ceremony in July. So... Keep our fingers crossed on that one. I'd like to thank all the folks who worked tirelessly to make this program tonight happen, including Mrs. Alice Pay, who learned how to do a senior recognition night for the first time of her career and in such a bizarre way, and to Ms. Susie Ross, who organizes all of the scholarship winners and uh, puts together all the information that we need. Also, I'd like to thank all of your counselors, Mr. Jacobson, Mrs. Clore, Mrs. Collins, Mrs. Gunther Yoke, and Mrs. Wessels, who served as members of our committee and provided a great amount of information about you, as well to Mr. Johnson, Mrs. Ahrens, Mrs. Merritt, Mrs. Nickvinda, Mrs. Malone, and Senora Bruce, who were members of the scholarship committee this year, and to, of course, our superstar scholarship committee chair, Mrs. Cindy Ritchie. Uh, she works tirelessly to make this an organized process. All of these folks have been meeting since December to organize an award. All, almost all of the awards we'll give tonight. As well, I'd like to thank our producer tonight, Mr. Justin Schaefer. He is behind the scenes. He is behind the camera. He is putting this together. Uh, and thank you very much to you for getting that done. So a few things that uh, we will um, to remind you about before we start. Tonight, we will recognize students who have earned specific awards or scholarships. The awards, uh, such as credit medals or academic pins, those types of awards, we will publish those lists online. We're not going to read all of those names tonight. We do not anticipate having those medals, by the way, until the end of May. Uh, there's been a production problem with the factory that makes them, and so we're hopeful that we will have those before graduation ceremony the 23rd, uh, and, and hopefully we'll be able to get those to you before then. Uh, if you are a scholarship winner, you should expect to receive information via the snail mail uh, this week or into next week. If you don't receive any information about how to receive your scholarship, contact the school. Some scholarships will go directly to your college or university. Some will go directly to you. As well, we will publish a program for senior rec night and graduation. We will publish it first online, and then we will print one and give those out uh, later in May. So you'll have a copy for your record. So without any further introduction, let's begin with our awards, and we will start with the Governor's Scholar Recognition Program. The State Boys Athletic Association, in conjunction with the Farm Bureau and the Governor's Office, award the top two graduates in the class. These graduates are normally honored with a reception with the Governor in Des Moines. Unfortunately, this year, uh, our recipients will not able to be att able to attend that type of reception because it was canceled. Please congratulate our Governor's Scholar recipients, Elizabeth Stone and Katie Jensen. 
KWWL honors the best of the class each year. This student is recognized by the TV station as the top student from the graduating class. Our best of the class student this year is Elizabeth Stone. As well, the Des Moines Register recognize, recognizes the academic all-state team. It celebrates the accomplishments of high school seniors who excel in the classroom and in their community. Schools nominate one senior who stands out in terms of academics, extracurricular participation, leadership, and service. Our senior uh, for the academic all-state team also finished in the top five for the region. And that recipient is Elizabeth Stone. The National Honor Society members help make our community and our school a better place by leading the Senior Service Project. Leadership for this, for, for this project comes from those who step up and ask to serve as NHS leaders. NHS leaders are nominated for the National Honor Society Scholarship. This year, one of our students was a finalist in the 2020 National Honor Society Scholarship through the National Association of Secondary School Principals and is receiving a $5,000 scholarship. And that se senior is Zaina Abushar. Congratulations. The Mentors in Violence Prevention Program recognizes seniors who went above and beyond to deliver the MVP's goals to raise awareness, to challenge thinking, create open dialogue, and inspire leadership among your student body. Three seniors are recognized this year, Tasha Gilkison, Isaiah Kelly, and Hannah Krejci. The AP Plus Project Lead the Way Award is given to students who complete the requirements of their chosen pathway and earn recognition for the AP Plus Project Lead the Way Award. To earn the recognition, a student must satisfactorily complete three courses in the pathway, one AP course, one Project Lead the Way course, and a third course, either AP or Project Lead the Way, and earn a qualifying score of three or higher on the AP exam and a score of proficient or higher on the Project Lead the Way end of course assessment. Congratulations to the following students. Cade Bowers, Conlon Byers, Carson Curry, Abigail Enos, Kaylin Johnston, Flora Kafunda, Alyssa Martin, Lucas Middlecoff, Cameron Moore, Jonas Pingle, Hannah Plehall, Joseph Scott, Jackson Sakelka, Quan Yang, Thomas Zapital. Congratulations to all. And now, I'd like to introduce Mr. Stecker, our Associate Principal for Activities, who will present the next set of awards and recognitions. Thank you, Mr. Klein. Again, uh, seniors, class of 2020, just a great opportunity to join you here this evening uh, and be a part of presenting these awards to you. Um, the next awards we'll get into here will be our Co-Curricular Activities Awards. The first award we'll uh, give out here is the Kennedy Scholar Athlete Award. This award is presented to a senior that exhibits the ideals of a student athlete. The recipient must demonstrate high character in and out of the arena of competition, be a varsity letter winner, and a significant varsity contributor in at least one sport as a senior, and they must also demonstrate excellence in their academic endeavors. Our two Kennedy Scholar Athlete Award winners are Abby Spohr and Josh White. The U.S. Marine Corps uh, Distinguished Student Award is given to seniors in three different categories. The U.S. Marine Corps is recognizing in the area of scholastic achievement, Cade Bowers, in musical performance, Madeline O'Brien, and in athletic performance, our female recipient is Abby Feldman, our male recipient is Alan Kim. Our next award is the Student of the Arts Award. Students have been actively involved in several aspects of the performing and fine arts are invited to apply for this award. Applications are then reviewed by all fine and performing arts teachers using several ca uh, criteria. Students must excel in multiple and varied fine arts endeavors at Kennedy. Students must demonstrate exceptional leadership, exemplary conduct, and dedication to the arts at Kennedy, and they must participate all four years of high school. These students are receiving their Student of the Arts medallions this year. Joshua Anderson, Amadeus Borchard, Laura Bungie, Morgan Butchie, Joy Curry, Abigail Enos, Abigail Farrington, Alex Freytag, Ellie Gavin, Declan Green, Jillian Groshala, Lindsay Hill, Natalie Knapp, Hannah Krejci, Cameron Kruger, Kira Manuel, 
Elizabeth Marlowe, Sydney Maxa, Matthew Meppelink, Nathan Morton, Ashton Nanke, Delaney Nesmith, Madeline O'Brien, Ethan Raid, Lauren Stengel, Raylan Stecker, Rebecca Stevens, Madison Strait, and Joshua Young. Congratulations to all those winners of the Students of the Arts Medallion. The Chad Everett Award is an, is an honor uh, named after one of our Kennedy alum who was tragically killed in 1993. The award recognizes a student who's been a spirited leader in the area of instrumental music. Our recipient of the Chad Everett Award this year is Madison Strait. Our next award is the Frank Kleesner Award. This award was established by the Kleesner family. Mr. Kleesner was the first director of bands here at Kennedy High School. This year's recipient of the Frank Kleesner Award is Hannah Krejci. The Bernie Sagow Award is awarded on behalf of Bernie Sagow, who served as the executive secretary of the Iowa High School Athletic Association for over 25 years. This award goes to the student possessing the qualities of honesty, integrity, loyalty, and sportsmanship. We are proud to announce this year's recipient of the Bernie Sagow Award is Curtis Ratzer. The Dave Etchen Award is given each year to a college-bound male and female athlete who demonstrates enthusiasm, dedication, and a winning attitude. There are not many of our head coaches who actually remember Coach Etchen, but they definitely know the tradition and attitude of Coach Etchen's programs. The head coaches assist in selecting this award, and this year's recipients are Ella Popenhagen and Jay Ostendorp. We're given a new award here in 2020. We'll call this the Be Uncommon Award. The Kennedy head coaching staff nominated and voted on the senior student athletes they felt best exhibited one or more of the seven core skills of our Be Uncommon culture here at Kennedy. We asked students to work to develop skills and grow towards becoming courageous, optimistic, uncomfortable, generous, accountable, relentless, and stable. The following student athletes were selected to receive the Class of 2020 Beyond Common Awards. Our female recipients are Abby Feldman, Kelsey Yeager, Katie Jensen, Kaylin Kinney, Alyssa Martin, Ella Popenhagen, Sadie Powell, and Cameron Ray. Our male recipients of the Be Uncommon Award are Brock Barnhart, Cade Bowers, Jacob Green, Karen Hendred, Ben Hager, Jay Ostendorp, Cade Parker, and Curtis Ratzer. <clears throat> our final activities award is our Senior Athlete of the Year Award. This goes to the male and female athlete who best represent Kennedy Athletics in sportsmanship and leadership. Our head coaches select the recipients based on specific criteria. These Senior Athlete of the Year criteria include, but are not limited to, athletic achievements, honors, and recognitions. In addition, the athlete demonstrates respect, good school citizenship, and a positive work ethic and leadership for their team. Coaches also consider classroom performance for this award. The Kennedy Senior Female Athlete of the Year for 2020 is Kaylin Kinney, and our Class of 2020 Male Senior Athlete of the Year is Jacob Green. Congratulations to those two on being Senior Athlete of the Year and to all of our co-curricular activity awards winners. I will now pass things back over to our STEAM leader, Mr. Klein, for the next set of awards. Thank you, Mr. Stecker. The next set of awards are the Leadership and Service Awards and uh, recognize students in those areas. The first award is the Chuck Patton Leadership Award. Chuck Patton was well known for his spirit, service, and leadership in the Kennedy community. In memory of Chuck and his exemplary dedication and support of Kennedy High School over the years, the class of 2014 dedicated this award to his memory. The three following students are recognized for their contributions to Kennedy. Shamarian Graham for citizenship, Betsy Marlowe for leadership, and Ella Popenhagen for service. The Rotary Service Above Self Award is an award given to a senior who has done something in their school or their community to make a difference. The student must exemplify the values of the Rotary. Actions and words should be truthful, fair, build goodwill and friendship, and be beneficial to all concerned. The recipient of this year's Rotary Service Above Self Award is Haji Ali. As well, we give the Kennedy Service Above Self Award to students who complete 50 hours annually or at least 200 documented hours total of service to others during their high school career. 
The following students have been recognized with the Kennedy Service Above Self Award. Haji Ali, Alexis Fonseca, Cody Gibbons, Tasha Gilkison, Rebecca Green, Lindsey Hill, Drew Jensen, Ali Juma, Flora Kafunda, Wyatt Keller, Hannah Krejci, Betsy Marlowe, Elena Mason, Ella Popenhagen, Curtis Ratzer, Marlene Sickles, Gunnar Womry, Alexis Wheeler, and Josh Weary. The Better Business Bureau nominee is a student who represents integrity, character, and leadership. Our Better Business Bureau nominee this year is Jacob Green. The President's Volunteer Service Award is a award sponsored by the presidential spirit of the community, recognizing excellence in community service. The recipient this year is Haji Ali. The Iowa Bar Association presents six exemplary members of the class of 2020 with, uh, with awards recognizing them for being active workers and leaders in student activities and those who have been proven to be reliable and upstanding in their conduct. Congratulations to Carson Curry, Joy Curry, Abby Feldman, Matthew Hand, Marlene Sickles, and Joshua Weary. Congratulations to all of our service and leadership winners. And now I'll pass it back over to Mr. Stecker with the JFK Awards. Thank you, Mr. Klein. You're welcome. I'm excited for this next group of awards, the JFK Awards, as they just uh, really exemplify the, the backbone culture of what Kennedy High School has been known for so, for so many years, certainly what the class of 2020 uh, has lived up to and passed on to those following them. The JFK Awards were selected by the Kennedy Scholarship Committee. Students are selected for awards of excellence, school citizenship, service to our school and our community, and school spirit and leadership. In addition, our attendance staff selects seniors whom they believe had the best attendance record over the past four years. Our first JFK award is the JFK Credit Medal. The JFK Credit Medal is given to the seniors who earned the most credits in their class. The following seniors are receiving the JFK Credit Medallion. Adam El Sotawe, Declan Green, Johanna Hinojosa Garcia, Flora Cafunda, Elizabeth Marlowe, and Madeline Yoslin. Next is the JFK Attendance Award. The following four seniors have earned special rec recognition for their exemplary school attendance. Caleb Hampton, Esbalda Mejia Montes, Bailey Schlakey, and Madison Strait. We had one student we believe had perfect attendance for all four years of high school. Congratulations to David Sufferlin. Our next award is the John F. Kennedy Citizenship Award. Faculty, administration, and staff always appreciate the energy that young adults create in a high school. We appreciate students who treat all students and staff with respect and dignity. We appreciate the exemplary display of citizenship shown by the following seniors who have earned the JFK Citizenship Award. Lizzie Dennis, Ben Hager, Joshua Jacobs, Zubeda Mohammed, Lauren Short, Lauren Stengel, and Raylan Stecker. The John F. Kennedy Service Award is valued by our community and our school as well. The seven students selected for the Kennedy Service Award provided tremendous energy to our school and our community through their service to our school. Please congratulate Olivia Herring, Lindsay Hill, Kelsey Yeager, Sydney Maxa, Keegan McRae, Mallory Murphy, and Ashton Nanke. Many students are spirited supporters of Kennedy High School. The committee selected seven who they believe represent the spirit of Kennedy from the fine arts to the academics to athletics. We'd like to recognize the following seven seniors on earning the JFK Spirit Award. Amadeus Borchard, Jacob Green, Katie Jensen, Cameron Ray, Austin Vandersee, and Josh White. Students provide leadership in a variety of ways, through work ethic, as role models for their peers, or by providing service and spirit to the school community. Our JFK leadership recipients for 2020 are Paul Corey, Sam Earle, Karen Hendred, Sadie Powell, Hannah Wheeland, and Joshua Young. Our next set of awards are our Senior Achievement Awards. The selection of these awards is based on the students who demonstrate a zest for their respective subjects. 
Teachers recommend the students that they are most likely most like to see come through the door of the classroom. In the area of art, Delaney Nesmith. In the band department, Joshua Anderson. In business, Eli Park. In career tech ed, Jonathan Tedesco. In digital design, Lauren Bungie. In drama, Betsy Marlowe. And in drama tech, Amadeus Borchard. In the area of family and consumer sciences, Echo Morrow. In journalism, The Torch, Ashton Nanke. And journalism, working with the yearbook, Raylan Stecker. In language arts is Zaina Abushar and Cameron Rezebeck. In the area of mathematics, Katie Jensen and Josh White. In orchestra, Nicholas Singleton. In science, Tasha Gilkison and Elizabeth Stone. In social studies, Kayla Osram Wright and Curtis Ratzer. In speech, Joy Curry. Vocal music, Joshua Young. In our world language department, in Chinese, Katie Wolf, French, Marlene Sickles, German, Abby Feldman, Japanese, Caitlin Quaid, and in Spanish, Haley Winders. Congratulations to all of our Senior Achievement Award winners. The following awards are scholarships that are selected in some capacity by the Kennedy Scholarship Committee. This group, as Mr. Klein mentioned, meets every week for several months to find the best fits for all of these scholarships. Our first scholarship award is the Michelle Pinkston Memorial Award. This award is given in memory of Michelle Pinkston, uh, one of our very own Kennedy grads. She was a graphic art graduate at Iowa State University who was tragically killed on her way to her college graduation. She was a remarkable young woman, as is our recipient tonight. The recipient of the Meg Michelle Pinkston Memorial Award is Megan Gifford. The Hiawatha American Legion Post 735 recognizes an outstanding graduating senior to honor the memory of Conley Schwenefus. Qualities needed are courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service. Congratulations to the Kennedy nominee for the American Legion uh, Citizenship Award, Isaac Scott. The Schneider Electric North American Foundation Scholarship uh, is our next award. Recipients are chosen for this based on their academic accomplishments and their PSAT and National Merit Scholarship qualifying test scores. This year's recipient of the Schneider Electric North America Foundation Scholarship is Sadie Powell. U.S. Bank finances the selection of eighth graders for scholarships. The 500 scholarships are to be awarded during these seniors uh, senior recognition night, so tonight. These recipients were selected by the middle school faculty during their eighth grade years. This year's U.S. Bank scholarship winner for Kennedy is Kisibu Kasha. The Rotary West scholarship has been offered for more than a decade. Qualifications for this award are that the student must plan to attend Kirkwood Community College. They must have a minimum GPA of 2.0 and be a good school citizen. The recipient of this $500 Rotary West scholarship is Riley Bolsinger. The word beloved describes a person who is respected, appreciated, and really loved by others. Likely this, this term is overused by several to describe a person, but Harold Wilkinson actually defines the word beloved. He was a teacher at Kennedy for nearly 40 years. He was the girls' head track coach from 1970 through 1994. He was respected, appreciated, and really loved by the kids he coached, as well as the students he taught. Wilkie retired in the late 90s, but remained a part of the Kennedy community. In fact, he'll be a legend in our school forever. After he passed away, a scholarship was established in his memory. Criteria for this scholarship include it must be a female who has been on the track team, who demonstrates hard work and provides leadership for those on the team. She must have a 3.0 grade point average and be of good character. This year's recipient of the Harold Wilkinson Memorial Scholarship is Ella Popenhagen. The Scottish Rite Adams Principal Scholarships are given to students who have a cumulative grade point average of 3.0 or better. They have demonstrated a high level of citizenship and involvement in school activities and they desire to pursue, pursue a college degree. The scholarship is for students who are pursuing a bachelor degree. The recipient of this year's Scottish Rite Adam Principal Scholarship of $2,500 is Flora Kafunda. Congratulations to all of these scholarship award winners. 
I will pass over one more time to Mr. Klein as he will bring us home in our awards evening. The Bob Brooks Journalism Scholarship nominee is a student who is dedicated to the pursuit of a career in journalism in honor of the legendary sports broadcaster Bob Brooks. This year's Kennedy nominee for the Bob Brooks Journalism Scholarship is Raylan Stecker. The Nate Dunn Next Generation of Leader Scholarship is in honor of FNM Bank President and CEO Nate Dunn to reward those who have and will continue to demonstrate leadership qualities and attributes. The winner of the Nate Dunn Scholarship is Curtis Ratzer. The Tom and Carol Ryder Cougar Student Scholarship is a scholarship that recognizes students who participated in extracurricular activities while maintaining high academic standards. The scholarship has been established by Tom and Carol Ryder's children and their families. Jim, Beth, Paul, and Amy are Kennedy graduates. The recipient must have participated in and provided leadership for one of the following activities at Kennedy, wrestling, cheerleading, drama, or music. The recipient must be of high academic stand standing, planning to attend a four-year college or university with the intention of participating in activities similar to those for which the scholarship was awarded. This year's recipient of the $500 uh, Ryder Cougar Student Scholarship is Tanaya Kovach. The George Novak Memorial Award is one of the original is, one, is an award in honor of George Novak, who was one of the original counselors at Kennedy High School, helping open the doors in 1967. He was especially interested in supporting students who had unusual circumstances and struggles in their lives while in high school. His family established this recognition in his honor, and requested the scholarship committee select students who demonstrated personal growth while dealing with adversity. This $750 scholarship is being awarded to two students tonight, Nate Eads and Colton O'Brien. The James F. and Jacqueline K. Schneekloth Memorial Scholarship is in honor of Jim Schneekloth, a longtime associate principal here at Kennedy. He had a vibrant personality, an unbending character, and he gave our school an infectious sense of energy and enthusiasm. In his memory, a scholarship was established with the purpose of selecting a senior who exemplifies his spirit. The scholarship committee defines the award as the senior we love to see coming down the hall every day. Our recipient of this award for $200 is Hannah Krejci. The Sean Wu Memorial Scholarship was, was established in honor of Sean Wu, class of 2016, who was known by all as a spirited, creative, brilliant, and humorous member of the Kennedy family. Sean was loved by all, both students and staff, during his four years at Kennedy. The student earning the scholarship is someone who leaves their mark on the school for years to come. The scholarship is worth $1,000, and this year it goes to Haji Ali. The Rick Nees Groovy Graduate Scholarship was formed in memory of Rick Nees, beloved Kennedy math teacher, and is be being given to students pursuing a creative interest, whether at a four-year college, community college, trade school, private training, travel, or other means. This award honors students who are genuine, supportive, and friendly to their classmates and encourage, encourages them to pursue their interests. This is a $1,000 scholarship, and this year is being awarded to Nayan Aminata and Jacob Green. The next group of scholarships we are presenting tonight all have specific criteria that determines the pool of candidates. 
In some cases, the criteria is defined by financial need. In other cases, special learning styles define the candidates. Others require a specific major in college. The scholarship committee determined recipients based on the criteria from the scholarship sponsors. Our first uh, scholarship is the Senior Leadership Scholarship, which was uh, presented for several years for students who demonstrate spirit and leadership to the class. Criteria for the recognition is that the recipient provide a lasting mark on Kennedy through spirit, service, and leadership. As stated in the criteria, it is hoped the recipients will leave Kennedy a better place and will have and leave a positive impression for lasting, lasting for years to come. Our John F. Kennedy Senior Leader recipient of this $500 scholarship is Curtis Ratzer. The Sal Ginta Scholarship of Honor is in memory of Sal's fallen comrades, Sergeant, Brennan, Sergeant Josh Brennan and Specialist Hugo Mendoza. Sal is a 2003 graduate of Kennedy High School and is the first living Medal of Honor recipient from the war in Afghanistan. The recipient of this award must be pursu pursuing a career in service to others. This scholarship is worth $1,000 and includes a medal. The honoree this year is Kayla Audrum Wright. The Kennedy Alumni Association Bill Herkelman Scholarship is for seniors recognized for school involvement and school citizenship. Alum the Alumni Association named the scholarship after Kennedy legend Bill Herkelman after his passing. The selected students for this award will be receive various scholarships based upon the selection of the Alumni Association. Congratulations to Ella Popenhagen, awarded $1,000 scholarship, Katie Jensen, awarded $750 scholarship, and Abby Feldman and Lauren Short, who were both awarded $500 scholarships. Congratulations. The Livingston, Livingston Trust Scholarship is a scholarship that provides students who show strong characteristics of scholarship, citizenship, and school involvement. The scholarships will range from $2,500 to $3,000 per student. Congratulations to the following Livingston Trust, Livingston Trust Scholarship winners. Haji Ali, Cade Bowers, Alexis Fonseca, Dominic Martino, Mallory Murphy, Madeline O'Brien, Maya Rayons, Marlene Sickles, Raylan Stecker, Elizabeth Stone, Joshua Weary, and Joshua White. The Walter and Ida Kansky Scholarship is a scholarship in honor of Walter A. and Ida Kansky and is presented to the student who exemplifies knowledge, spirit, citizenship, scholarship of the highest order. The recipient of the $1,000 Kansky Memorial Scholarship is Katie Jensen. The Dr. Wilzinski's Principal Leadership Scholarship is our next scholarship. It is one that recognizes and celebrates leadership with integrity, scholarship with purpose, service with a desire to better the world, and character that demonstrates caring and acceptance for all, characteristics that Dr. Mary Wilzinski was known for during her 17 years as Principal of Kennedy. This year's recipient of the Dr. Mary Wilzinski Leadership Award is Tasha Gilkison. The following scholarships are presented by the Greater Cedar Rapids Foundation. The first is the Reader Memorial Scholarship. Established in 1996 in memory of Mr. Vern Reader, the criteria for this award include demonstration of strong moral character and a desire to pursue higher education. The scholarship is for $1,000 and is renewable for one year. Congratulations to our Reader Memorial Scholarship winner, Keegan First. The Glidden Community Service Scholarship was established in 2003 to commemorate the Glidden's interest in young people, their belief in education, and their desire to provide opportunities for all students. The recipient must demonstrate respect and consideration for others and be involved in community service. This $1,000 scholarship is going to go to this year, Elena Mason. The College Opportunity Scholarship was founded in 1994 to support deserving students in pursuing further education. Criteria include having demonstrated career goals, participated in extracurricular activities, and intent to further their education. The recipient of this $500 scholarship for 2020 is Ali Juma. The George A. and Louise K. M. Collis Endowed Scholarship Fund is for a senior who plans to attend a nonprofit or public college or university to pursue study in government, political science, engineering, or music. 
Student must demonstrate high moral character and need. The scholarship is worth $1,000 and is re renewable for three additional years. And this year, it goes to Matthew Mepelink. The Merveau Academic Scholarship was established in 2003 by Nina and Victor Merveau to assist, in gra to assist graduating seniors from Lynn County with their educational needs. The recipient must have strong academic achievement and a depth of co-curricular activities. The $500 scholarship recipient for this year is Declan Green. The Outstanding Student Leadership nominee is, was established in 2008 to carry forward the spirit of the annual Outstanding Student Leader and Special Teacher recognition. The recipient must demonstrate exemplary leadership skills, academic achievement, and outstanding character and judgment, dependability, and teamwork. The recipient of this $500 scholarship is Kyle Young. The Greater Cedar Rapids Community School, uh, Foundation Drew Wall Scholarship is, was created through the Greater Cedar Rapids Community Foundation by Doug and Robin Wall in memory of their son, Drew, to continue to live strong through Joshua 1.9. It is to provide scholarships for graduating seniors at Kennedy who will be attending a accredited institution and who have been a member of the boys' golf team that, and exemplify Drew's commitment to academics, strong character, and service to the community. Our recipient of this $1,000 scholarship is Kyle Young. The Levens Memorial Encourage Scholarship Fund was established as a result of a cancer diagnosis within all members of the Levens family. It awards scholarships to students who have demonstrated courage, perseverance, determination in the face of adversity to themselves or to their immediate family during their high school career. The Encourage Scholarship recognizes the incredible courage of these students and hopes to encourage them to continue their education. Tonight's recipient of the $500 Le, uh, Levens Family Scholarship is Dominic Martino. Our final scholarship tonight is the Kleiman Scholarship. It is a $5,000 three-year renewable scholarship to Iowa Public University and is awarded to one graduating senior from the metro area. Each school is allowed to nominate two students. Scholastic achievement, class ranking, and demonstration of financial need are considered along with leadership and character. This year's nominees for Kennedy are Haji Ali and Betsy Marlowe. Oh, so there was a problem with the sound apparently. So we're gonna do two of these awards again. I apologize if I wasn't speaking clearly. All right, so uh, we'll go back to the Alice Bazoulis Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is governed by the Cedar Rapids Community School Foundation in honor of Alice Bazoulis. It's a $300 scholarship, stipulates that the funds be used for the benefit of students who plan to pursue education beyond high school. The recipient this year is Thomas Jackson. And the Scott E. Wilson F Memorial Fine Arts Scholarship was a scholarship that honors students in drama, music, journalism, and art on a rotation, rotational basis in recognition of 1975 graduate Scott Ewaldson. The area this year is drama, and the recipient of the uh, Scott Ewaldson Memorial Scholarship is Kira Manuel. So, I think that does it. That does it. All right, well thank you very much for joining us tonight. Uh, I hope that this was uh, the second best way to possibly do this for you, um, and uh, we're looking forward to the virtual graduation um, and uh, really looking forward to hopefully being able to get together this summer for both prom and a graduation ceremony. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's be smart. Um, as things start to uh, maybe loosen up a little bit, be smart, uh, stay safe, and the, the better we, we uphold those things we've been hearing for the last uh, two months it gives us a better chance to do those things in July. So it's been a pleasure to join you guys tonight. Uh, via the, the YouTube live presentation here. Justin, thanks for all your work. Yes. Uh, Mr. Klein, been a great being here with you this evening. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Stecker, and everyone have a great day.